Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks and praise. Old pirate Henry Morgan. I guess this is an image of the Henry Morgan. Look not like me or my people. Absolutely looking nothing like I and I people. This old pirate. This old pirate. I'll share this information in the tab. Man, I need for read nothing about these people. Well, you usually wear them right down out there. You have to benefit themselves. You have to find independent authors who talk truth. You get me? Not the agents of the colonizers who are right. For suit and profit and benefit themselves. So this is the Henry Morgan from Port Royal. And we know the history of Port Royal. Port Royal was classified as one of the wickedest city in the earth, not just in Jamaica. It's in the earth, in the world. This is how ruthless Port Royal was. And everybody know the information, everybody know the story. So now when we say politicians, inside of that old pirate house henry morgan's house carrying and conducting themselves inappropriately it's no surprise to us because i hear that speaker tell another member inside that house you cannot use patwa which is jamaica english language what I would have called a broken English, but it's still English. And I said, why would that speaker of the house, wholeness, I tell the people, I'm saying so they better speak proper English. It's because they are proper British subjects. We all are British subjects, whether we like it or not. We just have dual citizenship. One, as a British subject, United Kingdom and colonies, and the other as a Jamaican corporate citizen. And the Jamaica citizenship is attached to the agency, which was created by the very same foreign British people in their foreign British parliament. And they issue a Jamaica constitution order in council, sanction. This is why we said the charter, which is synonymous with contra. The charter of fundamental rights and freedom is what we pay attention to. God, that is what them call the Bill of Rights. I'm already share information what a bill is. You understand? Yeah. What an address is, not your location, but the public declaration by these foreign corporate people these foreigners, these colonizers, when they give us a Jamaica constitution order, it's a colonization document because it's been issued from foreign people who colonize us, who enslave us. The very same thing is it going on in Israel with those Philistines. Uh, th these people are always at war. The Philistine that is called a Palestinian and those synagogue of satan those zionists who purport themselves as jews the very same atrocity that is happening there it took place here in 1492 it took place here in 1655 this is how on the mainland north america you have all kind of foreigners purporting themselves to be americans which they can only be political americans federal citizens federal people foreign people that usurp the original people's place here we have north america south america and central america it's all america one continent and on the other side you have a plethora different different whatever they got going on over there 
And for whatever reason, when they look over here, it's the land of milk and honey. It's the promised land for these foreigners. And like the invasive species, like locusts that they are, they descend on our region and our location. And totally choose to dominate the original man and woman. The first people here, which is us. And that is a truth. All research is there what can validate this kind of statement. So we now have no respect for no Henry Morgan. We now celebrate our old pirate foreign Henry Morgan, those scoundrel, those sodomites. We now have no respect for them. We now honor them and we now salute them. They are invaders. You understand? And they are you know, we call them the defect. Because all them do is act within their nature, land pirates. These people go around the world trying to confiscate everybody else's land. They do not want to stay in their northern coal region anymore. And this is what caused the problem across the earth foreign people invading other people's location usurping their position and then genociding these people it happened right here it's only for the power of the invisible god where uno can't see like we are still in existence today as these demonic colonizers would wipe us off the face of the earth, literally. So I know of interest in celebrating uh, heroes where, where any foreign state are proposed or put up there. And when we see the foreign state, I give out distinctions and order of this and order of that. Pay attention to the people who are receiving these things usually them are not real ones like the real ones where stand up in the earth they are usually some flunky you understand and them only get these things while well, some of them some of them really put in good work while others is just you know for to facilitate the foreign colonizers because usually most of them people are always of either call it interracial relationship you understand for whatever reason them feel like when they married a foreign individual it give them some kind of special status but that can only happen within the colonial system yeah so man like i burn them when i'm not impressed with me always telling you, no entertainer can never be no true leader, absolutely none. All of them corrupt, all of them in a bed with foreign interests, every one of them. This is why now everybody are talking about financial security. We all need financial security. We all need money. Without money, we cannot exist. We'll just die. Now, who control that money? Who control that financial system? The foreigners. The foreigners come here and remove what we would call substantive, you know, say currency. When you could have a piece of silver and trade that piece of silver for whatever, then you can't do that no more. Because them outlaw those things, really. And put everything on paper negotiable this is why a postal money order represent gold again a postal money order represents gold a postal adhesive stamp represents gold it's the same of as having the paper money in your hand it's just that it have more value when you have the knowledge 
So our people are always a suffer because them choose to suffer because them are always reject knowledge because of them social engineering and their conditioning by the colonizers. By the very colonizers. These old pirates. These old land pirates. But our people will excuse these things. Again, all the demonic colonizers need to do is just buy out just a handful and probably give them some paperwork saying this is a treaty when the real stipulation is you might have some privilege but you should enslave all the others this is why our society is so chaotic this is why it look like everybody poor when we are wealthy beyond our wildest dream it's the social engineering by the colonizers the colonizers teach you in their institution of learning. So whatever information you have, it's from the colonizers. This is why we don't have a problem or dismiss any one of you people who come with any kind of colonization or colonial accreditation or degrees. I'll embarrass the mess out of you easily. Because whatever you have is foreign and them give you degrees to, to give you privilege to function within their foreign construct. That's it. Most of you people with all those fancy degrees cannot see. You're blind. Cannot see. You're blind. Yeah, man. Literally and figuratively blind. Walking in darkness and by your own choice. And you say, hey, I have financial security. I'm working for this company and I'm rich. Ask yourself with all of the wealth where you have, which community you share any of that wealth with? Show me two or three. Just show me one child that with all of your wealth, you sponsor that child to go through the university to improve themselves and their family without molesting, abusing those children, whether boy or girl. The university of the West Indies is like a a field ground for the pedophilia, for the pederists, for a lot of these so-called people of stature within society. The feed on the illiteracy of the so-called poor. This is why any little so-called purported politician will sneak into your community and they'll dress down. And them thing you know, I want to see. Them dress down looking like an average little nobody at all. Because they're not put on them pretty suit. And them come and them usually them can't deal with the home owners. You know, because the home owners usually have a little bit more sense of responsibility and loyalty to community. But they'll always deal with the vagabonds. Those ones that catch here and catch there. Those ones that come in at your location paying rent. And when them come, them act inappropriate. Them act filthy. Them act as if, hey, it's straight badness. These are the people these politicians, you know, promote. And they cause discord in your community. And them things are true. These things are true. When we look and see them I talk about this untidy, filthy crab woman, we are defecate within the location where food is supposed to be. And people are excused that that lady should get hung. That woman is hung. And everybody where they're in that location is not supposed to be handling food anymore because they are aware. You can't defecate and it not smell. If that is gas. So you're not going to tell me, say, I am, that's why me, we have problem even in my community. Because when I say filthy people move in and just a, a turn a place into one of them river town city dump there. And salute to the good people in a river town city. Because I love one of elevating myself. But river town city is a dump. And when filthy, ungodly, ugly people move in your community and want to turn your community in a wasteland or a dump, then he have to say something. A man like me, I can't accept it. I can't just step out of my house and I say trash everywhere and it's okay. Most people is like that because of them conditioning. 
I don't have a problem I sweep up and I clean up. But it is unfair when you have a set of filthy people who choose not to do the right thing. And when them come, them say, eh, them is bad. This is why the crime is out there like that. And I don't say nothing to it. Because I know a man now go see a next man and doing nothing at all unless that man did something. Yes, you have people who just see you and bad mind you and don't like you and want to destroy you. Yes, you have a lot of that. But majority of the crime and the murders are the unaliveness that is going on out there. It has stemmed from somewhere. It always has stemmed from somewhere. And it's always a lower class people and we behave that way. Them now look here, a man now look here and come to me where I choose to exercise my intellectual ability and try to influence me for doing an arm or wrong to no other man. Them on look here and do that with the dance people and dance people and where I say them want money. So you offer them any amount of cash. You know what I mean? Any amount of cash. And they will kill even their mother. They'll kill their mother, cook her, and eat her, and say, yes, me have money, me rich. This is the problem we have in our society. Our people are lost. We'll never be able to find a way because they are, you know, existing in darkness. And no one have interest in light. No one have interest in correct knowledge. No one have interest in truth. Everybody want to, you know, you know, say, fix up for themselves. Yeah, them ears so of them neighbor is an upstanding neighbor and thing. Them rather sell out that neighbor for a $5,000 political ticket. $15,000 from these politicians. And then the very same dance people create havoc in other community. This is called social engineering by the colonizers. These are the people that spoil us, these foreign people. And it necessarily mean because them foreign, them have to be white. Them come in all different shape, form, and sizes. They are demonic. To them poor the moment you look on the next man as property you're demonic you're psychotic these things are truth so when i impress when we hear parliamentary and so-called i talk about henry morgan house henry morgan is all sodomite we don't respect henry morgan so we're not a respect for the house for henry morgan bill and we will we, fire burn any house a representative we no want a sodomite representing us. Simple. Let truth reign. This is why I can never be politically motivated or inspired. Because I know this demonic political system came with the colonizers and bring divide within our island nation. This American island. All over the world, people are cursed out America not realizing it's the United States Congress is the culprit. That Congress is a British Congress. And the British Congress go right back to those synagogue of Satan, those Jewish people. It go right back to them with that scoundrel, Winston Churchill, and his kind. Remember, you know, we can't look upon color, you know, and judgment everybody. Because we have good people. When I look like we out there, we are chant righteousness. We have good people out there, we're white, but really white. And them are chant righteousness, and them are chant truth, and them is against the demonic set of people out there. So, you have black men out there, we are trash, demonic, filth, because we see it every day. So, we can't get caught in this crayon coloring book mess it's about the spirit where animate these demonic people these soulless people and when we as a people is upright then them spoil us you as an upright man will be living uprightly in your neighborhood or your community or your area and then you see some filthy people will just come in and the filthy people will tell us about what they want to do this to you and them want to do that to you. 
and them can do all kind of things to you. This is what the filthy people have said when them come in at your place. Come in catching like, like parasites. You understand? And them give all the problem. And we if you sit still and say, oh, it's okay. I say, watch out. Separate from these people. From them not good, don't even heal them. Don't even say hi to them. This is how I'm going to start dealing with some people. Just walk right by them. Keep my head straight. And when them speak their nonsense, I just ignore them and wait till them bold enough to come and step. Because the moment you interfere my space anytime at all again, you shall die. Any one of these vagabonds, from your interfere, in, from, from your step in front of me and then I come like, oh, you see this little dunce ugly man I try. Yeah. That now go up again. What me hear them do, it's like most a pass through and you, you see that God, these people always have a bag of different people from each other. And you see them point me out. And I say, I'm that. And me I hear them, you know. And you have a little ugly black one where can't read and write at all. Oh, I dump it back that. Oh, me would just take out my knife and do all kind of things. And oh, a gunshot my fire. This is these vagabonds. And this is how them destroy good people and destroy good community. This is why I say we're not to deal with them, man. From we discover so them are filled with we we'll cut them off. Leave them alone. Let them go die them own slow death. Because they shall die. Yeah. We don't have, to have nothing to do with them because we and them not have nothing in common. So the good people have got to choose to, to be good. And disassociate yourself from what is bad. You can't know say a badness that over there, sir. A filth. Like the Alice Crab girl. And you associate. I won't even look in those directions. This is why it's confirmed to I every day, sir. People, I better you prepare your little whip whop inside your house and you eat it. Uh, you know how you practice your proper hygiene. Now eat a road. Uh, even when you eat at the reputable places, at the very same people, I prepare these things. And if you go in a restaurant and somebody make a mistake and poison the food, then everybody will partake at that restaurant shall get poisoned. So it makes sense, a man, you know, spice up him little pot and you know, this and that, just some hot water with some noodle and a you that drop piece of pepper in that and you're good. Opposed to go, go and go buy in a big pot of soup where people are defecate in it. Truth usually hurts, you know. But it's a truth, it's not a sin. And we're not celebrating Henry Morgan, not Henry Morgan House, now nobody we associate with colonization and colonizers to enslave free people. We have to separate. The good of the truth to separate from the bad. Yeah, man. Now chat to them, man. Now heal them, man. Now look at them, man. Let them be. Let them associate with them own kind. Let bad people, criminal people, bad-minded people, dirty people, let them associate with themselves. A lot of the filthiness of a mix with good and spoil the good. We have to reach a point to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. This is what I'm about. Righteousness, up for living, clean living. And if you're not about that, then that's your choice. But I move to the next direction. I don't see you. I don't want an association with you. I don't to participate in nothing with you. This is how we have to get to this point. Yeah, man. Henry Morgan, look at that image. I'm not sure if this is the right image of Henry Morgan. This is what I have out here. This thing that looked feminine. You don't know if it's a girl or a boy this is. This sodomite. YouTube no like when I talk like this. Yet me hear so much different garbage I spew in a YouTube and YouTube allow it. So I know, sir, 
when you are, are bring light, when you are bring a certain kind of truth, then the filthy colonizing demonic oppressors will take offense. And I say that with absolutely no apology. That's why I'm a bun on a colonial admiralty courts. I burn it, man. I don't have no jurisdiction, man. I don't have no control, I don't have no authority. It's only brute force and tyranny. This is why truth will always be that light in the earth. And this is what most people is afraid of or running from. This is why I stay in front of a mirror and I light the people them where they are around me when I ramp to check me, criticize me, and call me out. These people are my mirrors. Yeah. So even when I might sound a bit rude or a bit harsh, me have people who are around me and say, then why if you are going so? And I say, listen, and I mean, blame the ancestral spirit where animate me. We shouldn't have a problem to call a speed a speed. If you're a colonizing oppressor, then you're a mother colonizing oppressor. We now go dress it up. And if you're employed or working on behalf of the colonizing oppressor, then that's what it is, a sellout. You're a traitor. You're committing treason against your own people for profit or gain. For profit and gain. Finance, financial security. Oh, I need money. That's fine. But what's the source of it? What's the source of it? Because you're born 1971, or you're born 1981, or you're born 1991, or even if you're born 1951, you're going to say, this thing has been going on forever. Yeah. That's only your opinion. Do the research. This thing wasn't going on forever. A foreign group of people invade this location. No different than what is going on in Israel. Because the very Philistine invaded that location first. You understand? And their nemesis, which is a synagogue of Satan, those Jewish people, get it from their Jewish brothers who are the British Empire. We want to think of one. When they hear Congress Day, they, they are the same Jews. The people in the American Congress is the very same foreign colonizing Jewish and black African or whatever them come from an all different nation. These are the people. And then we employ people like us. Remember, employ. The moment you are being employed, know you are slave, irrespective of what they offer you. You could all get $100 million a day. Once you're employed by someone else, you're, a, you're subject to that employer. It's simple as that. And know this, when you get $100 million a day from your employer, the employer makes one hundred trillion dollars off you so don't be deceived my people don't be fooled yeah man that a free will choice you can choose to be a dummy you can choose to be a slave and you can choose to be that fool it's free will but you can't get upset with a man who chose not to be. You cannot get upset with a man who said, I am not interested in this corporate body politic which is foreign and oppressive to us as a people. Because this political system and the government that is in place, that agency, is only in place to harvest the souls of the people and the natural resource of the people. This is why the, the Jamaican people now have nothing this is why the community them now have all kind of gang violence because they are fight for so-called land. This is a truth. And the truth is not a sin. And if it offend the foreign colonizers, so be it. We give a care zero. 
You people come in our location and decimate it, change it, pollute and corrupt it. So I can't look to no one to be no leader for I. I choose to lead myself. I don't look to no one outside for no governance. I choose to govern myself. It's called self-governance, self-determination. Just like how I choose to identify myself. I don't allow a colonizing corporate agency like the government of Jamaica to identify me and call me a corporation, a registered organization. When I'm the true and living man, this living soul manifest as man, I won't accept it. I say fire bond to you foreign colonizers and your foreign colonizing agency with all of its colonizing agents bastard when they have a pet you know? yeah man when they have a burn on a man burn on a tone of core and that is a truth no apology you go do the research and see if this sissify looking guy right here calling himself henry morgan go and go look if him is not a pirate go look and what is piracy and then ask yourself why are we as a people in this state of condition where any foreigner can come in our land and elevate themselves any foreigner but the local people have no opportunity opposed to be a, a, a good employee it's when you're a good employee then you get a little bit of order of this or order of that when you're a good slave they reward their good slaves you think they're not giving nothing no I'm giving you nothing yeah what me i think do is tech what me know is mine take it it's like when i see me share information i see me have a what indian nation flag you see me have a house crest these are my insignia my sign my banner I said nothing about no Jamaica. I'm not a corporate slave. I'm not one of those dummy that cannot see beyond what is. Be sure and share information showing these foreign colonizers came here and they were instructed to conquer, to take over, to place their banner, their flag, their signs, my bonnet to its core. And I can do that. I'm within my right. You understand? I don't tell Uno to do it. Because Uno can't do it. If you people had the information where we keep, it would have changed you. It would have make you become better. Now you have eyes. Your eyes will be open where you can see. But you're not in that position. I am. This is why I'm going to present my information like this. And again, it's not a fanfare. When I do this, for no likes. We had to share the information because this corporate oppressive agency chose to enslave a man such as I, who is free. And I carry I through them legal process illegally, unlawfully. And we will not stay silent. We have burned them to them poor. We have burned the sodomite agency. That come here and colonize everybody. We want to think it stopped. It not changed. You're still enslaved. And because you don't know you're enslaved, you just look like a deer without headlight at me. And I say, why am I talking so much? I have a right to express myself however I choose to express myself as long as I'm not bringing hurt or harm to no man or woman out here. Pay attention. Look at the problem we have in our nation with criminality and ask yourself what's the foundation of it. Ask any criminal why I go they got step on crime and tell us I want money. I want money. Yet if you tell him, say, define what money is, he cannot dance like rock but all with them university degree. Dance like no different from these attorneys. 
that only practice legal process. This is why Mr. Nanana can't come in front of me, because I'm outside for a colonizing agency. And none of the rules or the regulation cannot apply to me. I have to subscribe to it. And when I don't, I have to F off. It's simple as that. And I don't need an army to express these things. This is truth. And this truth is light that dispel the colonial, demonic darkness that is out there. Burn them, people. Don't be afraid. Burn them. Remember, you know, are the words create a whole heap of things, you know. So when you sit on your words, where things happen, the demonic entity them celebrate. But the moment you call them out, yeah, man, and call a speed, a speed, call them out for what they truly are, a re oppressive regime. That was constructed by foreigners and employed the local people who purport themselves to be some kind of elite when they are as filthy like the filthy crab woman. Sometimes you can look on people and see what they are, you know. And so when you look at them and see what they are, you just go in, a, in, a, in an opposite direction. That's my advice. You don't need no confrontation. It's when these demonic people choose to come mess with you, then you decapitate them. You don't stop. You wipe out them bloodline. You don't stop. You do not stop. You do not stop until everything is done. Deceased. Why? Because you never trouble them. And them, because of them social engineering and them dumbness, figure well, hey, they are the baddest people it will never end because even the good man if you fuck with him he might come to you hard and strong even the good man even the man when a bad just continue taking a set and say i will decimate your whole place and you will be surprised it will never end until we choose to, co to correct ourselves and we have to do it a man can disrespect me and me choose for acting kind and kill out him whole family. Or, me can say, ignore that cause. If him could have read and write, him would even try disrespect me. And you move on and gone left that. A free will choice. But no man should sit and make a next man hurt our army. So the moment a next man a plan and a talk for hurt our army, it is within your right to take preemptive actions. If a man a sit down and say, boy, I want to ring up knife in a ear and a gunshot them fire and man a point you out to politician and all these things, that means that them a make plans for come at you. So once you're aware of that, you're within your right to make your preemptive strike. Always know that, people. I met a boy tell you nothing out there. Because when you're dead, you're dead. Now your bloodline have to come take up your battle for you. Make sure to reign, man. And if you're good, just stay good. And if you're righteous, just stay righteous. God, the filthy will always remain filthy. Them choose not to change. They were created that way. Filthy. When me hear the crab nastiness, at first I was like, yo, what a big excitement if a lady have an accident and you know what I mean it's just an accident and then me get fear said so, no I'm on a routine thing when me hear them say a routine thing I say no I'm on a obia that man go and go obia work on them level eh? filthy filthy in all its ways yeah man because if you is a filthy man and I do anything anything where you do it's filthy if you're a polluted, corrupted man and I do anything at all, anything and everything that you do is just like you. So if you have a nasty, filthy obia man, then where you think you're going to get? And what is the motive? Money. Because this filthy woman sell the most crap, building house and doing all kinds of things. Yet, that I choose for defecating our location with food. How can you accept that? 
any man we accept that is as filthy as that trash. But burn them out, man. Because them things that should never happen. Never. We we'll burn out these things. Out the people. Choose knowledge, no man. Choose correct knowledge, man. Just learn the truth, which is light, and then move away from what is darkness and bad out there. That is it. That is it. And burn them foreign colonizer, yeah. Burn them foreign oppressor, yeah. Burn them to them core with just a word, say so I'm out. We not forget physical. We just continue being verbal. Burn them to them core. Call it out. Talk the truth. Port Royal get clapped by earthquake because of the evil of that location. And you have come and talk about Henry Morgan and Henry Morgan House. Fire burn. Fire burn.